In this video, I'll be testing the future of Scratch or even the Scratch killer, Gandhi IDE. Gandhi IDE is a Scratch mod that takes things to a whole new level. Not kidding. New extensions, real-time collaboration, new UI, asset marketplace, and so much more. So, how can you get Gandhi IDE? Well, there's a really cool trick. Open a Scratch project and then go to the URL and type .host and voila, you'll be on Gandhi IDE. It's pretty awesome and feels like accessing some kind of secret information. So this is totally different from Scratch's UI. So you got the like button and the share and we got this really cool run animation. So no green flag, just the run button. So let's run it. And then it will automatically switch into full screen mode. Really, really cool. So we got the run button and also we could pause and we could see the description the creator oh so we could keep on liking all right so that's cool so we could quit from this and then we could see the creator and you can see it's powered by scratch of course it's scratch mod and it says it is accelerated by gandhi ide so the running speed of the project and the loading speed is accelerated by gandhi ide so yeah the loading speed is definitely accelerated so that's cool let's click on see inside as you can see gandhi ide has a dark mode the ui is still similar to scratch but with some differences you can collapse and expand any panel you want which is cool additionally the icons for the block are new and updated because scratch don't have any icon so it looks like Gandhi IDE has all the same blocks as Scratch and on the right side there's a new menu that offers various features. There's a cow backpack and a set marketplace and extensions. We'll get into that. They even have a Discord in Wildlick which is interesting because Discord is banned from Scratch. Moreover, there are settings available that you can change. So you can change the stage size. That's cool and even explore advanced options. So these advanced options are like built in scratch add-ons. So you got keyboard shortcuts, which you can customize. Gandhi IDE also has a useful status bar. So you got options like block swapping. Finally, you can drag a single block. Yes, you can't do that in scratch for some reason. So, okay, now let's open the cloud backpack. So we could upload our files from computer which we could use and store it's kind of like the backpack on scratch but better so now let's test the asset marketplace so we got bundles costumes sound sprites and scripts oh so we also got scripts so let's try scripts oh my so let's click on bundles so we got these really awesome bundles got these really cool platformers sci-fi characters We got whole game assets that we can use in Scratch. Look at this spooky game level. Really cool. You got all the stuff you need for your game. Everything. Wow. Wow, this is so good. So let's try costumes. Got different costumes we can use. Characters, backgrounds. Let's select backgrounds. All right. These are all backgrounds. And we got different characters that we can use. So, all right, it's cool. Why do they filter tiles as characters? Come on. So it looks like there are only some characters, but yeah, so much better than Scratch's sprite library. We also got sounds. So what else we got? We got music and sound effects. So what sound effects do we have? So we got wood footstep, water footstep, now snow footstep, all right? And it's taking a really long time to load. Got all footstep sounds. Oh my god. Still footsteps. Oh my god. Can I get anything else than footsteps here? Gandhi, you need a filter for this. Yeah, it's really hard to find a sound you want. Still footstep. Still footstep. Alright, let's just let's just filter music. Looks like I broke Gandhi IDE, but I should not do really. <laughs> Come on, it's not filtering as music. So now man, let's just go for sprites. So I know items were found for your search. What did I search? How do you search in this? Oh, I think I broke it. Oh my god, I have really good talent in breaking stuff. But sprites, it's still loading. It's taking a really, really long time to load. All right, finally we got it to load. And look at this really awesome sprite. So much better than scraps. We got hero main. Sci-fi characters, so 
got different enemies that we can use. Really, really cool. And what else we got? We got Naruto. Okay, so that's cool. So we got all the Naruto characters, I think. So how do we use it? Add it to call out backpack successfully. All right. Let's add. I don't know. I don't know the name. Let's add that guy too. We got RPG characters that we can use. So we got space shooter games. Got different, you know, face things that you can use for like a dressing game. And look at these really cool demons. You can use this in all sorts of projects. And the sprite library just keep on going. It never ends. Look at this really awesome sprite. Wow. So let's try to import Naruto to our project. So I kind of like Scratch's design because it's really hard to like switch sprites here. So I kind of like Scratch's design. Can't you expand this? No, you can't drag it. So let's check out Cloud Backpack and we got all the sprites we need. So how do you use the delete move to uh, nothing? Try selecting attacks. Alright, characters I guess. Let's edit. How do you import it? Oh my god. How do you use them? So let's try to go for code. Choose a sprite, upload, surprise, paint, choose a sprite, add model. What's a module? I have no idea. So let's try to import. And this is the default scratch sprite library. I, I don't need this useful sprite. I want now to. A few moments later. It clearly says a message. If you want to use them, please open the pop-up window by clicking the button next to the stage. And I did not read that. So I had to watch a video of how to use them. So we could just use this cloud backpack and just drag it here. And boom, we got Naruto comes with inbuilt code. So we can test all the animation that each sprite has. Really, really cool. Our demon, let's see how our demon goes. So you could also use the asset marketplace from here and just drag and drop into your project. Oh, we got the demon. So let's check our demon and the demon does not come with any code. Okay, so that's disappointing. Yeah, no animation for the demon, just the body and stuff. And the robot, what do you got? Just the idle animation. Oh, we also got run animations. Slide, the shoot, all right, so that's cool. So you could use this guy on all sorts of projects. Really, really cool. So. Pro tip, if you want to use any of these sprites, just right click and click Expo. And then it would download the necessary sprite. And then you could just open Scratch, click Upload Sprite, then locate your sprite. And voila, you got the sprite on Scratch. So now we'll be testing out the extension. So you could click on Extensions. And then we will get these really awesome extensions. We got AI Hub. So you could use AI on our games. Can't be quick, make stunning full screen effects. Cool. So we got simple MMO. So this is for multiplayer games. So you could use any of these things to your multiplayer games. We got 40 pocket. Uh, I wonder about that. This we got the terminal. We got the Gandhi media units. We could mess up with the audio and all those stuff using this. We got the physics engine. And it's based on Box 2D, which is Griff Patcher's physical extension. The Scratch Lab extensions, those useless ones. We got the Canvas. Okay, cool. We got a Meta extension too. We also got a Pathfinder in Scratch. So the first extension that we are going to check is AI Hub. So I found this project where they showcase a demo of how to use this AI extension. So using this AI Hub, you can use it for like NPCs. So it currently uses GPT 3.5, which is ChatGPT, but the old one. So you could use this on all sorts of things like NPCs and players and really, really cool. So these are the blocks that you can use. And we also got different personalities and communication styles. So got like scientists, actor, comedian, psychologist, detective. So detective must be cool. So yeah, we got a lot of selection that you can make. Where's the normal person? All right, I guess there's no normal person. So okay, moment of truth. Let's test this AI hub extension. Hello there. Welcome to the house of resonance. How can I assist you today? 
Asawaif As an assistant, my main goal is to help the owner of the house of Rasanan and those who visit here. How can I assist you today? Let's ask, what can you do? As an assistant, I can provide information about the house of residence and its owner. I can also assist with any questions or concerns you may have during your stay here. Additionally, I can help with tasks such as scheduling appointments or making arrangements for your travels to other spaces. So this is really cool. So all of these responses are generated by AI. You have nothing to do. Really, really cool. So let's ask some complex question. Why is the sky blue? Totally unrelated, but let's try. Would it work? So, oh my God. Oh my God. It's working. So if you're done talking to anyone, you could just say goodbye. And that's it. Really, really cool. Wow, this extension is really, really cool. There's absolutely nothing you need to do. All the responses will be generated by AI. Really, really cool. So our next extension is this Gandhi Quick extension where you could create different stunning effects. So you could use effects like the glitch, film, shadow, and so much more. You even got Gaussian Blur, which scratch removed for some reason. And these are the blocks. So this is how the glitch effect would work. Really, really cool. The film effect. The shadow effect, we got the shake, really cool. And shockwave, noise blur, Gaussian blur. Finally, you could blur stuff, so that's really cool. And the bloom effect, we also got the color noise as well. And this is a project that showcases its demo, and wow, this project is really polished. Look at this awesome art styles, I love it. So you can kind of see like the glitch noise pixels and every time you kind of smash, you get this shake effect. Really, really cool. Using this extension, you don't need to do any advanced coding or anything like that. You could just use the extension and create effects like this. So if you're normally doing in Scratch, it would take some coding and messing around with different blocks as well. So we also got an extension called 4D Pocket. Uh, so what is 4D Pocket actually? Is it like the next gen of 3D? So it's the 22nd century gadget from the manga series Do. Oh, it's inspired by Doemon. So the 4D extension contains a set of utils to make your coding experience easy. So it's just some quality of life improvements in Gandhi ID. Nothing that useful. We also got Griff Patch's physics engine built onto Gandhi IDE. So this is made by Griff Patch where you could use different physics. So you don't need to code like gravity, velocity, all of those stuff. You could just use the physics extension but for some reason scratch does not have this yet and yeah probably we need to wait until scratch 4.0 we also got syntactic sugar so in computer science syntactic sugar is syntax within a programming language that is designed to make things easier to read or express so again this is a quality of life improvement where you can use blocks like this without using the o block or something like that so we also got a star odyssey so it's a pathfinding algorithm so this would make making rpg games on gandhi id so much better and easier than scratch i want all of these extensions on scratch so those are the really cool extensions that we can use so of course there are many more cool extensions that you can use within gandhi ide and now for the start page so this is how the gandhi ide start page looks like so i think it's cochrea cochrea so yeah this is much more clean than scratch but i like the projects more small because it only like fits three other projects on screen but yeah these are the stuff trending on cochrea no platformers oh we also could submit for trending that's cool so got the game jam ones so it just show creators in the home page as well so that's cool and these are the game jam ones all right so as a summary of codes gandhi ide is a much better version than scratch so there's a lot of quality of life improvements in gandhi ide plus the cool extension the assets so let's just hope Scratch implements some of this stuff. Of course, not all, but at least some like the extensions or oh, even heck, dark mode Scratch. But yeah, for now, we are just stuck with Scratch. And if you want to use any of these cool extensions, you can always go to Gandhi ID, make your code, have some fun with those extensions as well. And probably I'll make a video on this. So make sure to subscribe and like this video if you watch this part of the video. See you in the next one.